Hello everybody, this is Shotgun Nixon 1000 and we're reporting for duty. Welcome you back to another episode of Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were-Rabbit. In the last episode, we managed to do the morning mission of the farm and also some other daytime and nighttime missions here in Grimsley. And in this episode, we're going to be doing some more missions in Grimsley, starting off with Mr. Growbags. So without any further ado, let's get started. This air weather will run my runner beans into the ground. I dropped me prized pumpkin seeds and they're blown away. Can you help? You must collect all the seeds before the wind blows them away forever. Okay. So yeah, with this mission we've only got one minute to collect all 80 pumpkin seeds. This is actually a pretty challenging mission. Because you cannot afford to make a single mistake. They are very close to each other, so we've got no problem with that. But it's roughly around here we often make the mistakes. Because of that. Um, oh. Gromit, please don't mess up now. Thank you. No, Gromit, please! This is actually what happens to me every time. Right. I'm not going to be able to do it, am I? Nope. I was close. Go on then, having another go. All right, let's try that one again. Because I was having so much problem with that platform. I always have problems with that platform every time I do this mission. Alright. There you go, got it first time that time. Right. Easy. Whoa. Okay. Good, good, good. Right, just that last one. Got it. Clever. Thank you, Andy Pasto. Take this as a reward. Alrighty then, I will do. Collect. Oh, wow. There's more Mr. Grobag's missions than we thought. Clear the woods and power cut. <laughs> so we got our work cut out for us then. Well, I give a lot actually. Still got this one from Weapon Edges. This one. Oh, we can actually do that mission now. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Oh, power play. <laughs> ah, right. Okay. Righty then. So, next thing I want to do is to head down to the Scrappy, which is down here. Let's talk to you. Can you help me with the pest problem? Yep. Yeah. Clear the best from this scrapyard and I'll be ever so grateful. Alrighty then. Now this is no timed mission by the way. It, this is actually a sort of challenging mission but at the same time it's also fun to do as well. We got these, there's basically nothing but rabbits in here. So those are the five rabbits easily you have to get. You got rabbits here in the uh, hang on. There, that worked. Right, so we got those two there. We've also got two pests in here, as well as two in there. I know, I find it very strange how rabbits actually get into the bonnet of a car. So lure them over to the factory. And now we need to whack these uh well I would say stakes, but it's, I think it's I think it's roughly planks. Could be wrong. Uh 
Oh. I called Wallace to do an air blast thing, so there's an air blast spot there. Oh wow, that was a good shot. There's an air blast spot there as well. So I think what we have to do here is activate this when he comes. You gotta press it at the exact same time, otherwise they will not come close. Then you can wall jump up here. We got some rabbits up here. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that was a little bit weird. I was trying to suck up that rabbit that just jumped off, and then instead, um, he just made me suck up another. Alright, come on, bring that rabbit up. There we go, got that sorted out. Now you want to suck onto this, make um, Wallace rotate it round and fly along over. Oh, no, no, no. No, I don't want you to go, I don't want you to go there just yet. Okay, I want you to do the air blast first. There we go. And then lift this up. Now, funny thing about that, you know those things that you're supposed to tell Wallace to suck up so that way you can get the pest out. I tried to scare the pest out of there while sucking onto this at the same time and instead I got myself trapped in there. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I actually did. So, there's another rabbit over here. Uh, I think I have to jump down here. Oh! Ah! Really forgot about that. Hey, rabbit! Right, okay, so get those that are all sitting close to the factory. Uh, oh, there's two more right here. Ha! Ah, I was gonna say, I was saying, it's, wait, say there's two more up there. I thought I got those ones down, but then I realised, oh wait. Uh, no, I don't want to get that. I want to deal with this. Get all the rabbits, shoot them out the door. Oh, yeah, that one's um, protected by glass, so it's not able to get be sucked just yet. Right, okay, next one, get these rabbits in here, instantly get them into the factory, do the same thing with these. Yeah, I'm just trying to refresh my memory because I don't want the same thing happening to that one time in The Legend of Zelda. I was... I was trying to get something done, but I kept making mistakes. So that's that mission done, and we've got another mission. So I think that's in the night time, actually. Let's go to the night time. Yeah. Okay, here we go. been invaded by strange creatures. Can you clear them out? Yeah, of course I can. Good luck and be careful. Now with this mission, it's nothing to do with where um where energy device is. 
You have to get rid of every single one. Right, let's get rid of you. Whoa. Uh, yes, they will. Whoa. There we go. I'll get that at the ready. There's where rats in there, I can tell. Because you can't hide where weasels in a car, can you? Shoot you, shoot you. There is more up there, I definitely know. Oh, hello. You've got another one there. Oh, it's up there. Right, okay. So, I guess that means I have to wall jump up here. Oh, oh, where that's? Wow, five wear rats. Good God. That's one full engine. One, two, three, four, and... Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Oh, just give me a minute. Oh. Never mind. I got a program up and running on my computer and it's kind of delaying everything. Good God. I thought that wear badge was going to knock me off. Right, that one's now gotten rid of. So there's only one place to go now and that is... On the bus. And yet, all the gnomes, they're going to be staying up there. There's no way they can, um, uh, jump down. Alright, alright, I get the picture. Ugh. So I was just saying, I can't get this, I can't get that. Wow, one of those just hit his own partner off the bus. And there we go, that's it. Looks like you've got me. Well, I guess we are clearing out the scrap heap. Stakings in the safe and forgotten the combination. Can you help? Uh, yeah. Three safes at yard. I hope you have more luck with them. Oh, I see then. Ah, no. ah, we got the screwdriver malarkey. And guess where they're all located? They're all located above ground that only Gromit can access. And you know what that means. Yeah, you have to activate this straight away. Wall jump up here. Because you can't get Gromit up there because... Uh, hang on. You can't get Wallace up on top of any of these without um, the wall jump. But yet, the thing is, Wallace can't wall jump in this game. So... You have to make Wallace stand here, lift up the platform, change to Wallace, then use Gromit, jump in, make him jump down, and you have to control Wallace throughout the whole entire mission while he's up here. A quick turn here and a quick turn there. So we've got B, A, X, another X. A Y, an A, a B, and another X. So that's safe number one. You got to do that three times. And now for safe number two. 
So once again, B A A. Oh wait, we're spelling out what is, we're spelling out what a sheep says. X X X. Now. Hang on. Switch to Gromit, make him go down there, and then. Do that. Gromit will move the crane for you. Oh, great. I'm swinging side to side. No. Oh, actually. I thought I messed that up then, but I actually made it after all. Let me try the screwdriver. So I see B Y A. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. If you actually see a button here, like this, but you accidentally hit it in the wrong Thank slot, so much, or you hit the wrong button. That button then disappears and it reappears in a different location. I forgot to mention that. But if I go to the pause menu here... Yeah, that's all the daytime missions. So yeah. Once again, we've got to go back to night time. Now, one thing I should always do first before anything else. You see these street lamps? Yeah, they got a little cord on them. You have to activate uh, the street lines by doing this, and it gives you a certain number. Uh, there's one area, I think, in South Grimsley where it's like goes from eight down to nothing, and there's another one that has a lot more. You've got to make sure that you are aware of your location because sometimes you can. Um, activate the wrong sort of thing. So like we got a two on that one and that's one. But when we come up here it's that's changed up to eleven and ten because we're in North Grimsley Town. Righty then. So do that. Wait, hang on, just checking. Are some of most of them down there? No, they're not. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Oh wow, that's strange. Uh, oh, never mind. Never mind. I was confused there. I was actually like saying, yeah, there's PC Macintosh, but um. The mission that is currently active, uh, he's not actually supposed to be standing there, but obviously he is. So we've got four left to light up. And yeah, weirdly enough, there's actually two um, street lamps here. So you've got to activate them. What do you have to say? Now I know what a cow sounds like, and that weren't no cow, I'll tell you. There's something in the farm at night. Oh. <laughs> okay. So we got something called a wear cow or something? No, not really. There's no such thing as a wear cow in this game. Uh, let's glide down there. Oh, last one. There we go. Lights out in Grimsley Industrial Area. And yeah, we've only got one. Oh, we've got that. It's got that weird glow again. We've already collected. Uh, got the collector card for this, didn't we? Where's Hutch anyway? Oh, he's on his way. Hutch. That's it. Yeah, we already got it. So I don't even know why it's continuously showing that glowing thing. And there's light up the town in North Grimsley Town. 
Well, I guess, I guess BC Macintosh was the only mission to do in the night time, actually. So, I guess we gotta do that. Alrighty then. Uh, you talk to him. If you ask me, that device you found on the terraces came from the old factory. Oh, wow. Great stuff! My informants tell me you should take the monorail into the factory. Uh, oh. oh, this is a hutch only mission, and yet we also got a time limit as well. Right, first thing you've got to do straight away. Is to knock out this wear badger. Ow. Wow, this wear badger's on a vengeance. Good god. Took a lot of damage from him. Right. Then you want to climb up here, get rid of those wear rats. Whoa! Chicken! Um. Okay. But yeah, you're supposed to actually go down this way. So yeah, go straight to the where rat. Another where chicken about down there. I'm gonna say ignore him. Oh, with some wear bees down there. Then you need to jump down here, get rid of the, get rid of these wear rats. There's the monorail. What you need to do? Activate the switch, and straight away, jump into this, and could have sworn you could have got. I could have sworn you could have activated the harvester here. So yeah, you're supposed to suck up the turnips and shoot them at the werebees as they come to you because they can actually um, nudge you off. Okay, done that. That's all you have to do. You just have to hit those switches and go straight into this door. And then this cutscene happens. Geronimo! I'll get the lever. Yeah, they made Hutch wow, say wow. all of those it's lines that he normally says. Yeah, they made Hutch say all of those lines that he usually says when you're battling someone in the cutscene, and it just sounds really funny. Here's a card for all your hard graft. Uh, sorry, I was having a drink. Of, I was having a cup of tea drink then. So anyway, uh, with that now done, I say it's time for me to call things an end to this episode. So next time on Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were Rabbit, we are going to be going back to the daytime because there is one location that I want to do before doing all the nighttime missions. See you guys then.